What is going on everybody and welcome to part 10 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to actually be implementing this leveling system so that when a player gets the right amount of EXP they are able to level up and their level resets and everything else gets changed accordingly. And today we'll just be working in our server side file which is our init.lua file. So let's go ahead and begin. A few things that I want to do here first is I want to get rid of this line here, which is just setting the player level to 1 every time they kill an NPC or player. Let's go ahead and get rid of that line. And also in the XP adding thing here, let's change that 100 to a 101. Just so we can test out what we're going to be working on here. And I'm also going to get rid of these comments for now, because these are kind of obsolete now, because it's already kind of implemented. And now what we're going to do is make our own function here. And this function is just going to check if the player is, or to check if the player can level. And we're just going to call this function check for level. And this will take in an entity, which I'm just going to call uh, ply or player. And end. Now in here, I want to create three variables. The first one is going to be the variable for the total experience that they need in order to level up. And I'm just going to set this to the same uh, math that we had over in the CLN or the test hud.lua file. And it's just the current level. So ply colon get nw int or get networked int the player level. Multiply this by 100 and then multiply that whole thing by 2. And then we want another uh, variable here. And this will just be the current exp and set this equal to their current experience. So get the player exp networked integer. Then also the one for the current level as well. And this is the same thing, just ply colon, get the networked integer for the player level. And the reason I'm making these variables is just to make our code just look a little bit cleaner. You could just use this instead of making the variable. It's up to you. I'm just doing this again to make it a little bit cleaner. And now what I want to do here is I want to check if the player's current experience is greater than or equal to this exp to level variable. And we do this by just doing a simple if statement here. And then we want to check if the current exp is greater than or equal to the exp to level. Then, if this is the case, let's end this off here. If this is the case, if their xp is greater than or equal to the exp to level, we want to create a new current exp, or actually, sorry, I don't need to do that. We just need to use the current current exp variable and set this equal to current exp minus the exp to level. And the reason for this is if their current exp is equal to the exp to level, their new e current exp will be zero. But let's say that they had maybe, they needed 200 to level up, but they had 202 experience. We don't want to get rid of that two experience. We just want to add that to the next level to the next uh, progress to the next level, basically. And I'll show you that once we get into game here. And next up, I just want to set the new variable. So apply colon set the networked integer and the player exp. And just set this equal to our new current exp. And then another networked integer that we want to set is the player's current level. And we're just going to use the current level plus one here. And then our, in our NPC kill and player death event, we want to check for a level up right after they gain the XP here and throw in the attacker entity here. And then we're just going to copy this and put it into our player death event as well. Now everything should be working perfectly now. I'm going to go into game here and check it out. Let's go ahead and spawn in some crows. One, two... And watch that EXP and level in the bottom there. Currently 101, kill it again, I'll have 202. And as you can see, our level went from 1 to 2. And since we had an excess of 2 XP, that was added to this current level here. And I can keep doing this, it'll keep going up. And kill one more, we should have 6 excess. And that'll be added on to the next level's progress. So that is our level system, leveling system here. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff here in the future and actually adding some features that are going to utilize this leveling system. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.